Dusty Gamer and today we're gonna do a running episode. Alright, so on the last episode we did pick up another victory towards the <laughs> Division 1 series, I guess. So I picked up a play, I don't remember who, I think it was a center. Yeah, so we picked up Lee. So we'll you know, do the swapping. You want a second line? I'm gonna put you in the third line. For the show. Alright. <coughs> okay, and then we'll switch you for Lee. Let's jump into the game and see what happens. Alright, so we're rolling up the game. Well, that's it. It's a long video called Gamer Tag, anyway. And he's got the cap. He's got. Um, I don't know who that is right there. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see until we um, uh, get into the game. Hi everyone, another terrific hockey night is ahead. Tonight's game is presented by Honda. Opening face-off is just seconds away. Lee sent to the big center ice circle for Montreal. Grabowski's opposite him for Montreal. It's a three on two. How will they defend this? He was outnumbered but not outmanned. Montreal's in their own end and in possession. Drives to the crease. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Pointed to Barbario. Good job with the stick. Montreal's controlling play along the boards into the attacking end. Moving it now in center ice. Trying to go to Bodka. He missed the net! And you wait all game for a chance like that, and unfortunately for him, it clunked into the corner. Good defensive play, hand to eye in center ice. Montreal's in control of the puck in their own end and readying an attack. Puck fired down, decision made, defenders first, icing. He does his best to get out of the way, but he can't get out of the way now. We're throwing it down to Ray Ferraro. Oh, Doc, you know, you can't get too far into any matchup without discussing the goaltending, and that, of course, is going to have a great deal to do with who wins tonight's contest. But so much of the game is played in the small areas of the ice. You need puck support, you need to be physical, and then when you get puck support and puck possession, how quickly can you get it to a scoring area? Always appreciate hearing what's going on down there, Ray. Okay. Rugby and hockey together at the boards. And he regroups. Pitch back into the offensive zone. Picks it up in his own end. Moving it to Abdelkader. Games the blue line. Speared along by Hammond. I wasn't going to go to the back end. Montreal is in control of the puck in their own end. And at an angle to Abdelkader. I feel it works out for us because... Heads along the boards. That's when the goals come out. And one-timers are back end. One-timers will do. Could this be icing? And it will be based on the defense arriving first. I don't want to be... What James has only done. What goals to win the game. Over nine minutes playing. Still knotted at zeros. Good clean win on the draw. Cut on by with that one. Great save. Drives to the net. Montreal's in their own end and carrying it on. Snapping a pass to Soderbergh. 
And he motors on through the neutral zone. Can he generate something? Hammer, save! Let's it go. Just couldn't find the target. My dad once told me, Doc, if you don't hit the net, you can't score. Montreal's waiting to get things organized in the defensive zone. Takes it up that side. Good hand up. Terrific save there. Like Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at. And he made it tough. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Ranks one. I think he in the middle of the there. Montreal's controlling the play in the defensive zone. Up to wing with it now. With a shot. Save. Picked up in the attacking zone. Kick save. Outstanding. And a whistle. That's not really a big deal. All right. Pausing. Just pausing. All right. Not bad. <coughs> Clean win on the draw. Montreal's in their own end, carrying it off. Well, I don't want to say. Lotker's carrying it through center. Six. Superb defensive play by Brian Campbell. He leaves the ball. Montreal's got possession in their own end. I shouldn't say if he leaves the ball. Still has control at center. And the linesmen were watching very carefully. That is an offside. Let's say, say I have 15 minutes of coins in the game. Then put a lose. So I can only use like 750. Montreal prevailed again on the face off of the neutral zone. He's held to the glass. Skate kick out of the scrum. That's turned aside. That one's to him from his goaltender. In the slot, he's got it. Montreal's lugging it along in their own end. Pushing it on in the defensive zone. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and Isaac is caught. Last year, I think I the I really like these efforts. Montreal's got it. He's really good for the such. Passing's good. Get play stopped. So, when you, when you have a good passing hands, pretty good skating actually. And that was only like an 84. It felt like an 88. Defensive well, zone my gosh, it's me though. Like some Campbell's tripped so, up. That some should people, be a penalty. You know, um, Hanson's yeah. going to the box. Yeah. It's a tripping mine. Okay, so we're going on the power play. His hands. There's always a start to your power play, play night. And this is number one. Montreal's got a defensive zone win. If all, if so, if so the clock nice. has bled down to the last minute. Hard work on the boards and glass. Could not be filtered through a strong play, but wonderful yeah. stop. You talk about cutting down that the might angle. Perfectly good, executed like by the goal. It's 72 high, I'd say 75. I don't know, like, that probably wouldn't be good because... Forcing the goalie to crane left and really then rush. Shot. Slides it to the point to Barbaria. He drives toward the slot. Boom, boom. I said I'll do that. Sorry, that wasn't really a cheat. Montreal's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time so. still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Shoots it off. I think it's that. He's got there. Passing one off now to Nolan. I remember when, when I was actually used to be bad at when he me, like the intro 14. I and lost that's my one period. Still two more to go. That's it's a one nothing game. That. Now for a look at the shots of one like period play. A second period like is about like to begin. What do you think of what we've seen so far? Except like Montreal's lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches push the stop. They're not doing much for Montreal's built a two to nothing lead, yeah, so and the sky's the yeah. limit the way they've been playing. Over here, I'm still getting better today. A face off win, let's see better. what develops. Even my number one thing here, you can always get better. Because sometimes I'm not even good, they could just be talking. No, no, I don't want to get all the cross creases in there. Like, I'm not in a way dramatic. Creases I can get. Montreal's in possession now as they move up the wing. Pitch that one back in deep. Back in his defensive end to get it. Above the net! Wonderful chance! That's a prime area to score goals. He was there, but just did not execute. 
marched narrowly inside and decides to play it the other way. Solid neutralized poke check. The Grabowski. Watch this guy up front. Montreal's in their own end setting things up. Karam pass to Thompson. Nice pass right up the gun. Good standing poke check. They've got a two on one. Right in front. And another save there. He could start some danger here. Looks ahead to start something. Puck fired down. Decision made. Defenders first. I don't think that was a bad pass. I think it's just a bad player. You know, if he was getting a little bit faster, he probably could have gotten on that. A little under six minutes have been played. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. Good quick ball check there. Press to the glass. Montreal's lugging it along in their own end, shifting gears. I really like Peary's play. Speeds right on goal. Terrific save. Terrific yeah, opportunity. So a he quick developing play shot. right but in front. Almost you know, looks like he's too close to the goaltender. You, know, you want that in the player. I got some pretty good players. Even Sills not even look that, that bad. But maybe it's just because we're in Division 10. Once we're in like, Division 3, we'll wait and see what happens. The draw the tie up and his team prevails. Let the shot fly. Flip to really the opposite good team. corner by Abdelkader. Montreal's in their own end and shifting gears. He makes it up with Picks the it up in his own end. Shooting! Oh, oh, gosh, oh and it's off the mark. You know what, Doc? I can see why he missed the net. There was nothing there. He tried to be too fine. Perfect tip by the stick. Montreal's in their own so, end, locking it along. Picked up in the defensive zone by Bailey. They could not knock him over because Bronzy's aren't good at body checking. Shoots one. And a yeah, good save there. He tends to take a lot of slap up the far out. It. So when he gets to the it looks like he's going to take the slap up, go towards him, and force him to go wide. Montreal's got a face-off win to Tange. Rister, save, puts <laughs> pads together and got the whistle. Okay, I'm You can't ask much more from your goaltender than this. That's an excellent wrist shot that he's able to deny. I mean, like, oh my gosh, you're not playing well enough. Well, no, it's not bad. It's just because, you know, I don't want him to go too long. I mean, like, the second period's a lot harder to change. Montreal's prevailed on another face-off. In their own end, pressing on with it. Walking a thin line near the border there. Oh my gosh, did you Three actually see Three straight that? goals. Oh my gosh. Montreal's hammered all another goal. They've got a lot of shots, and now they've got goals to show for their effort. Oh, Carries it up the side. It's a three on two as they move in. A oh, shot. Oh, oh, terrific save on a great okay, chance. You, you, you want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Oh, Hamannick's going to the box, and the call is tripping. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. And the puck taken over by Campbell. That's a good solid poke check. Montreal's continuing on through center ice. Shook right through, and that shot missed. He was trying to be a little bit too fine there. That's why he missed the net. Back near the blue line to Thompson. Chip to Tenge. Moves behind the net, and the loose puck gets chopped away. Forcing attention. Feeds it in front. Scores! A power play goal yet again. Montreal's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. Up the wing. Knocked it away with the stick. Riley's trip that penalty should be coming. Montreal sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Montreal's in their own end, hopefully shifting from defense to offense here. Solid job of holding the pressure on between the blue lines, and he dumps it in. Can he generate something? Heads on behind. 
Up against the glass right now. Heads on to the corner. Scrum over, puck kicked. Picked up in the attacking zone. They must retreat and start back again. Pitching this one to Ennis. And it's lifted back out of trouble. Subban's back behind his net and is able to stop it right there. Looking for options in the defensive zone. Directing that one to Gallagher. Montreal's back to full strength. They've killed off the penalty. Chipped away. Oh. Nice job. That was my Broke only option. Well. I was rather let him get the puck. Offside is called. <laughs> Somebody got it over like it. Like the puck. It, imagine that would have won. Just a hair under four minutes to be played in the second. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. Possession established on the pickup. Wonderful save. Wow, what a save there, Doc. <laughs> Outstanding save with the glove. The goalie gave him the glove side and he took it away. What a stop. <laughs> Gathered in by him. He's got that centering pass. He still gets through Skidoo. Set up to Terrible. Montreal's in possession and moving up the wing. Wrist shot. Great glove save, and he keeps it. Oh, if you're a shooter, you don't want to see the goaltender flash his glove like that. Nearing the last minute of this middle period, pitching it to Tatar. Back in his defensive end to get it. Montreal's in control of the puck and neutralized. Nicely into the zone. Oh, here's a wrister. Wonderful save with the pass. Blocked. Great poke check. Not true. And the period comes to an end. We all need a rest now. <laughs> 40 minutes down, at least 20 minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? Montreal's up top here with a pretty solid lead, but they know that their opponent's going to come after them. So let's see how they play. Will they be defensive first or look to add to the lead that they have? On his forehand side. He can start some yeah. danger here. If it goes like that, it's good. I just don't want to use that kid. Let's go, Rister! I, I want to try to find different ways to Slid win. To Piri. Oh no, I was going to try to cancel out if we ought to. <gasps> Looks ahead to, to, to start pass. something. Knocked right off the stick. Montreal's so, got it in the defensive zone. You, like, Snapped up that right wing to Bodger. Great poke check. Nicely padded away. Stop! Oh, he got one. All right, that was a nice play. I think that that wasn't my fault. That wasn't the goalie's fault. I think it's just he came in, he got a good, made a good play. All right. Under All right. three minutes have passed so, here in the third. Left. We have he a game one. that's a three-goal lead. If he gets another one, I'm going to be the worst lead in hockey. But I just got to keep the puck in his end. Neutralized face-off win. Looking to need a right. Play back up the boards and handled by Marche. Picks it up in his own end. Now it's directed to Niederreiter. Wonderful poke check. Montreal's lugging it through the center ice area. He's alone! There you go. I came back. I guy came back so hard that I'm off. Really back in his defensive right end to get it. Montreal's carrying it in their own end. Moving along in the defensive zone, and the puck is scooped up by Marchand. Slid just in. Montreal's moving well through the neutral zone. Heads to the front, punched away. I go to. Um... Oh, got the two people watching. Shoots one. Those big one. pillows on his legs so came in handy then. Ten. Montreal's so in their own end and on the move. The situation is under Division 10 right now. Hanging on to it now at center ice. Gun. Great scoring chance here. Bounced off the board to Klitsen. Drill. Score. He's got his second of the game.
we're so far up here, Doc. I'm not sure if that puck got deflected. Let's go down the rate and see what he saw at ice level. Not only was the puck deflected, Enzo, it's through traffic as well. You're going to see on the replay that the goaltender's fighting aid the traffic. He's got to get into position for it. Right when he thinks he's got the puck at him, the puck changes directions. He just can't catch up. Gets in. What will he do? Lightning in that glove. <laughs> Montreal's controlling the play in their own end. Right near the line. Right into the slot. And the arm of the referee comes up. A penalty. Montreal's minor is for charging. That wasn't going to be a you can skate to make the hit, but you must glide and then make contact. Montreal's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Pass attempt to period. What a hit! Well, pick yourself up after that one. That is a big hit. Point to point, it goes to Thompson. In their own end, making progress. And that's an offside. Gallagher's position on the ice allowed him to make this big hit just past halfway in the third period. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted, and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. Oh, did he ever get mashed. What a terrific opportunity. Montreal starting back in the defensive zone. Cleared back out. This will force them to drop back a lot. Clock bleeding down on the power play. Still controlling out of their own end. Looks ahead to start something. Montreal's done a wonderful job of penalty killing, and so we're back even. Hoping to recoil back in his own end. In the defensive zone, continuing on. Oh my God, wants to really get something really regenerated, but wow. from his own end of the ice. Seriously, you might have Montreal's been getting an attack like ready in their own end. Picks it up in his own end. Okay. 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 Sets up Shaw. Okay. Okay. Possession now on the pickup by Applicator. And he's holding on to it out of his own end. Oh, and he is drilled. What's going on? Montreal setting things up in their own end. Two on one opportunity. He's right in front. Great hand eye coordination. Big drive. Block that one. And possession once again by Applicator. Two sticks together. It goes to the offense. Puck is thrown to Bailey. He could start some danger here. Oh. <laughs> Two <laughs> goals. Montreal's goal has taken them to an even larger score. But a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Decides to go back into his own end to get something started. Montreal's in possession through the neutral zone. Puck controlled by Niederreiter. Mm -hmm. Terrific handoff. Dropped on back further. Montreal's in their own end and controlling play now. Good work with the stick. Decides on the area behind. We are in the 60th minute out of 60. Montreal's in their own end and in possession. And he'll continue in the defensive zone. Continues in their own end. To Terra Vina. Fine move to get by. Brings a shot. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. Now uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Back in his defensive end again. Montreal's in their own end and controlling the play. Moves it to the shadow of the board. Thrown in. And possession snapped up by Whiteman. Looks ahead to start something. Barbario's mm. tripped up. That should mm -hmm. be a penalty to Piri. And he carries it through the neutral zone. Penalty mm -hmm. call coming. Watch for his signal here. Ennis has a minor penalty here, and the call is tripping. Fires! The warm signal 
that's the end of this game. So I did pretty good in that. Oh crap, I forgot how many shots I took. Wait a minute, I, can, I still know a way to do it. Thank god for technology these days, I can just find it out. No, wait, no, okay, never mind, I know, I had 22 shots. I had 22 shots, I don't even need to. <laughs> wait a minute, did I get my points? I just wanna be sure, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I don't know why I have to do this. Alright. Let me see, I got 35,000. I have one item in the item inbox. What is it? I'm using Derby. It's almost. Alright, so 1650. Oh no. Just go gold and be 1650. You know, instead of going buy now, we'll actually go maximum price. Let's just see what I can release. And if it's a player I can afford. It's always like a 750 point player. That's not bad though. I mean, I will put him on my roster, definitely. Alright, right, but we'll take off Jordan Nolan. There you go, so I just increased it, not by much, but a little bit, so we're going to get into another game. It's always getting time. Alright, so we'll make a rule, if I get a shutout, I get to pick what position, alright? Just because then if, uh, you know, like, if then, you know, I can get something better than what I have, per se. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Isn't there anyone in Division 10 anymore? <laughs> Sorry, I'm like that guy. He's going in the background. I do not like it. Faceoff is just seconds away. Welcome to another exciting night of hockey action. Tonight's game is sponsored by Honda. Honda. We have a game that does it for Oh, I was going to just for you. Oh, no. Good evening, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, game about to start here. What strikes you right at the outset that we should be watching? Well, especially teams. Both these teams have a real good power play unit, a real good opportunity to move the puck around. So if you're going to take a penalty, it better be a good one. So especially teams, a big key in this game tonight. Yeah, Brad Marchand, so he's got the right. 
Here are the Honda starting goaltenders. Mike Smith, big man, six feet four, NHL goalie since 2006, once played in Lexington, Kentucky in the minors, has led the NHL in shutouts during his career and has scored a goal with his stick. Tukarski's the goalkeeper tonight. The book on him is that he can be rattled with an early goal. Let's see how he does tonight for the visitors. Now, you guys remember from commentary on the background? I'm looking on the comments. Another yeah. terrific night of hockey here. Cleese, the starting center for Colorado. Cleese is opposite number for Montreal. He's got a guy in it is Colorado, the site, and the first puck dropped. Rister, great save. And we're happy to have Ray Ferraro with us as well. He is down near the ice. Colorado's offense would be fun to play in. There's no real rules with it except the puck continues to go forward. Their defense jump up into the play. The defense really has to communicate or they're going to get burned. Nice face-off work. Wait, how does he want to draw? And possession now on the pickup by Shan. Can he generate something? Enormous collision. Oh well, guys, he didn't see him coming until the last minute. That's a really pretty solid contact. Picked up by Shen. Back in his defensive end to get it. He can start some danger here. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Colorado's in their own end, setting things up. Gains the blue line. Montreal's carrying on in the defensive zone. Long pass sprung to Nita Ryder. What a move! Punched away! On through the corner. Puck controlled by Bordelot. Okay, a whistle and a rest. Zajac's still feeling the effects of that huge hit. He's got to learn you cannot play with your head down at this level. Over six minutes have gone by. We are deadlocked at zero. Beat him on that one. Wrist shot. He's got a chance. Picks it up in his own end. Picked up in the attacking zone. Marches on a cross. Got on by with that one. Oh, my. Collected in the corner. Looking for room. No room for a pass. Can he clear? Enormous hit. Under siege needs to be gotten out. Elects not to shoot. Drives and recollects. Colorado's in their own end and in possession. Gathered in by Fane. Can't seem to find a play there, so he'll go back and reset. If he is, it's working. Picked up by the defense. That is defense. Hey, Doc, give it go hockey. You gotta love it. Great blood play. grab. Gets play stopped. Mike Smith, an original draft pick of the Dallas Stars back in 2001. He was a fifth-round draft pick, the 161st player taken, but he spent the majority of it. Montreal's quick on the draw. Gets by. Ring 10 bells for that save. Right. Well, Smith had to be sharp a couple of times there. He gets across on a beautiful forehand deep to make the save. So. Montreal's got that face-off win. Oh, and it's off the mark. You have to give yourself a chance. That puck cannot miss the net like that. Of course that. I get a penalty. Sills penalized two minutes for slashing. 
Monkey fish. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Montreal Montreal's got a defensive zone win. In their own end, continue. What a terrific opportunity. Because right into the slot. Look at how the goaltender is looking yeah, around the screen to try to make the stop. Smith's glove save dropped a potential goal. That one was sensational. Mm. Good clean win. Yeah, Terrific glove save. And yeah, he'll cover. Because of the fucking two seconds, and we can't do anything. All we need is one goal, and we don't even need to do it. He's in great shape to make any kind of stop, but one like this is an easy one for him. Okay. Big face off win. Okay, I, I really want this to do it. Fucking Gets in and he'll look over his options. Oh, Out in the slot. Okay. Nicely padded yeah, away. Loose in. puck captured by Bordelow. I'm freaking done with this. I'm just gonna get my goal. Looks ahead to start something. He heads right for the net. Colorado seeing the penalty clock bleeding down to the last few seconds. Continues right between the blue lines. Montreal's penalty kill comes through. Now we're back even, moving it to Peary. That one comes right on his stick. Not very long, but good. Back in his defensive end to get it. Decides to go back into his own end to get something started. Heads on behind. Toward the net. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Utah, score! Especially in the offensive zone, if you want to isolate a defender, you got to get people moving over to the puck carrier to give him more options. That's exactly what happened on this play. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. Montreal's gotten the one nothing lead. Finally, we get the first goal. Neutralized face-off win. Scored by number 16, Zach Still, assisted by number 70, Tanner. Montreal's continuing on through center ice. Can he generate something? 45 seconds. And the loose puck turned back into his own end and look over his options. I'm going to try to push him down the way. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. If you're looking for this type of open ice hit, you better have a good aim. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. He missed opportunity from this close in. Montreal's got it in their own end. Up the wing, moving ahead. Gets across, looks over his options. He can start some danger here. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Speeds right on goal. Comes off of the first game, one nothing. Oh, definitely on the first 20 minutes are over. And so all of us get a break here before the start of the second period. It's a one nothing game. We turn to the shots on goal. Heavy totals for one, very light for the other. Ten for Montreal and none yeah, for Colorado. But the one goal. Mm -hmm. Sills' goal but has put his team ahead for at least now. Will it stand up? Mm -hmm. We go to break. Boom! A goal we can already do so much in the game. The shots are ten to nothing. Anyway, this is probably the last game of the episode afterwards. After the game, I'll buy the plan. Oh. Just gonna quit. Huh. Huh.
We are in the early stages of this game, about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first? Divers, the game Colorado's is lucky to still second be period. in this game after the first period. Oh, they yeah, had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches stuck. addressed that problem in the intermission. Underway in Probably period not two. Or something. Heads to the front. Passes to the slot. He drives toward the slot. Skate around. I'm Looking from the blue line. And open. I'm basically on the power play. Puck settled down by McLeod. Picks it up in his own end. Oh, fucking God. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. But gathered in behind the net. What a marvelous collision. Dude, stop flat. Unless you're in it. He got plastered on the board there. That's a stop sign right there. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty no, good shot here, but the, the goaltender's in good shape, he makes the stop, and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. Good face-off win. Trying to go to lead. Colorado setting things up in their own end. Hoping for better things if he turns back. Players tired, about to get a rest. Seconds to play here, still in the second period.
40 minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. A look at the shots on goal through two. 11 for Montreal. An embarrassing none for Colorado. Smith's enormous save has kept his team in it. We have ended the period and he gets a rest. And so do we as we head to break. It is the third period, the regulation time period, and we are underway.
A long game, and the clock bleeds down to the final minute of regulation. Possession gone. Just when he thought he had some open ice, he ran into a stop sign. That's got to hurt. Turned aside. 